Hi everyone, it's Jacinta from Posture Tonic. Here's your 19 minute reformer class. Single leg footwork coming up first. Reg blue, yellow, or two reds and a yellow. You're gonna collect your one kilogram dumbbells, come lying down onto your back, placing your right tippy toes over the foot bar, left leg to tabletop. Begin with your arms out to the side and take a breath in to prepare. On your exhale, extend the carriage lengthen the leg. Staying there for one calf rise and then close the carriage. You press all the way out, one calf rise, lowering and lifting the heel. Your arms, option to come into a tricep extension after the fly. So as you calf rise, one tricep, one fly, one press, one tricep, calf rise. Good, your left leg is floating over that foot bar or you can keep it in tabletop if you'd like to make it a little bit less coordination challenge. You're finding that neutral spine, and you're breathing out through those pursed lips. Good, deepen that range through your calf rise here. How far down can you get your heel? And how high can you get that heel? Making sure your ankle, your knee, and your hip are in line. On the next one, we stay out for just your calf rises and optional tricep extensions. Doing great, keep squeezing into the back of that calf. Beautiful work, how high can we get it up? Well done, come all the way back in, reset yourself for the left side, opening the arms to a chest press, elbows are bent. We're taking that same leg press, push the dumbbells up, one tricep extension with that calf rise. So chest press, calf rise, tricep. If the arms get too much, you can also just uh, omit those dumbbells, pop them to the side. You don't need to use them. Beautiful. Maybe you're going to start weaving that right leg over your foot bar here as you close the carriage. Lots happening. You can break it down, take anything out you don't need to. Good, a couple more here. Really stretch that leg long. Stay for the calf rise. Getting ready for just those calf rises. Go ahead and press the carriage all the way out, lowering the heel and lifting. Optional tricep extensions. Pressing the dumbbells all the way up towards the sky. Good. And come all the way in, fantastic. Let's take those heels to the bar, turning your toes and knees outwards, arms stretched to the sky. Peel your hips towards you, one glute bridge and a fly. As you peel back down, keep the carriage closed in towards the stopper. So we come all the way up, fly the arms, fly them back up and then roll back down. Now, as you fly the arms, option here to squeeze the knees together, feeling those inner thighs and then fanning the knees back out. So you roll, find your glute bridge, pop your knees together, open them back out and then roll back down. Option to use your arms for support and ditching those flies and dumbbells. You could just have your arms down onto the carriage for some more support and balance. Otherwise, you're really feeling that squeeze coming through the pecs. We're holding it at the top here now and just doing those fans of the knees and chest flies. Really spiral those knees all the way into glue together. Keep your hips higher than your ribs. So good, we're almost there. Keep closing that carriage for me. Woo, good, doing so well. Holding high. Beautiful work, roll your spine all the way down. Pop your dumbbells to the floor. And let's collect your long loops or short loops to make it harder. Arms up towards the sky, legs float to tabletop. We're just pulling the arms down by your hips, floating the arms back up. So right now you're just in your neutral spine and your ribs are melting into the carriage. The idea is to pull on those straps, reach your fingertips past your hips. 
And I want you to feel that connection through your back. So your shoulder blades are printing little butterfly shapes into your carriage, keeping those knees directly over your hips. Use your exhale nice and strong through those pursed lips here to draw the tummy in as you press the arms down. Holding your next press, we float the arms out, let a T, and then squeeze it back to your hips. Open, squeeze it back down. Now we're targeting through those lats, so through the side of your underarms to your hips. That sling muscle is getting a nice big load and squeeze as we reach the arms long. Nicely done. Press strong. Couple more. Pull strong. And release. Well done. Return your straps back to your pose. And you might like to tick tock your knees off to one side and then to the other. Or simply hug your knees in towards your chest for a nice resetting hug. Taking a couple of these. Great work, that was your warm up. We are prepared now to head into a spring change. We have curtsy lunges on a blue spring for level one, yellow for level two. We need to slide our box up to the right side of your reformer. Option to use those dumbbells, so bring them with you if you'd like to progress. Step to the inner side of your box in a turnout, so a little V, and then take your right foot and wrap it into the shoulder block behind you. So now you're in your curtsy lunge. We're sliding the carriage out and closing the carriage with a bicep curl. So we lower into a long lunge, angling your knee outwards to the second, third toe towards that foot bar. We're pressing heavy into your heel to stand and exhale to bicep curl as well. So as you find that deep lunge, your right leg is length and long and from your heel to the crown of your head, you have a nice long line. On the next lunge, hold it down for one scooter. So the weight is transferred all into that front leg. We find one long lunge, stay for one scooter, bicep curl, and then stand all the way back up. So we open the carriage, one scooter, and lunge to stand. Try and make the deepest footprint into your box as you breathe out and stand tall, closing the carriage. How far can we open that carriage but keeping your weight forward? So you're transferring forward into that bow. We're hinging at the hips. Staying down low with just your scooters here now. Let's get nice and fiery through this glute. Just your scooters, optional bicep curls. Can we feel it? Stay low. You are doing so well. This is all about that mind to muscle, that dedication to finish off this side nice and strong. You've got about six seconds left. Four, three, two, finish off your last one and come out of it. Woo, well done. Pop your dumbbells down and turn to face the back of the machine ready for our snake. Left hand to the center of your headrest, right hand to the outside of your carriage. You're finding a long line, then dipping your left hip down, piking the hips to close the carriage. So we start in a plank with the carriage opened. We dip the left hip, gaze over to the right shoulder, and then a big strong exhale as you close the carriage. You're staying high onto those tippy toes as you pike up and use those lower abs, that breath out to help close. If you'd like to progress, we're gonna take the feet up onto your foot bar with the right foot in front. Therefore, you can really explore that range of dipping your left hip towards the carriage, really twisting, and then that strong upper body to push the carriage away, pull that carriage all the way in. Know that that box is there if you need to make it easier. Incredible work. This is super challenging. We prepped those shoulders in your warm up. So here's your moment to shine. So you need to just use those palms to push into the carriage, but use the strength of your shoulders to lift out of your shoulders. So 
so good. You've got about six seconds left. So time for one or two more. Let's go, last one. Finish that one off and let's come into a kneeling position onto your box. For a little side bend, let's reach one arm up, lengthen through those obliques. Well done. Okay, so now we're gonna pop your box on short ways and let's change our springs here. You're going with all of your springs on for just anchoring your carriage. So let's place your right foot underneath your strap, pull your toes back to anchor, and then you're turning to the left side and hooking that foot either underneath your thigh or just keeping it bent 90 degrees. You'll take your left hand to the headrest and then right arm or back of your hand to the head. You're gonna take a little dip through that supportive left arm a couple of times to get your alignment. To progress, we're gonna release that hand and then lifting ourselves up and twisting at the top. So we lower over, twisting the chest down and then lift up, twist the chest towards the sky. This is a really strong one through those obliques. You can always assist with the bottom hand to help give you that extra support. It's about rotation through the trunk and trusting that strap. So again, just pull your toes back towards you and allow for that top leg to be relaxed. Good work, nice and strong. Take a nice little reach or both hands onto the silver rails, square the shoulders up. Short but sweet, that got in there. Great work, let's come all the way up and we'll set ourselves up for the second side of those curtsy lunges. So the box is coming to the floor, making sure we're back onto that blue spring for level one, yellow for level two. Optional to grab those dumbbells, standing on the top of the box in the inside corner, in that V, and then stepping that left leg or foot into your shoulder block. Okay, so sliding the carriage open, inhale, breath, exhale, curl, and stand tall. So it's one lunge and stand. Closing the carriage all the way, stretching up tall, and then hinging at those hips to really fire up through the side glutes. And this is going to work those inner thighs as well. Beautiful, adding your scooter in at the next one. Hold low, one scooter, optional bicep curl, standing all the way up. One scooter at the bottom, back into that curtsy lunge and stand. Getting ready to hold it down for those scooters on your next one. Are you ready? Let's get low, scooter time in and open of the carriage. You're keeping that weight forward into that front leg. The back leg is super light, just sliding the carriage lightly out, lightly to close. Couple more here. And last one, come all the way up. Great work. Turn and face the back of the room, right hand to your headrest, left hand to the side of the carriage, find a plank, zip up through the core. Let's drop your right hip down, exhale breath, piking the hips, shut the carriage. Slide back out. So we only wanna slide the carriage out as far as you need to with the shoulders aligned over your wrists getting that big dip through the hip, that deep range to then use those side obliques to lift you back up, lower abs to pike. Remember your progression, you could take your feet on top of that foot bar. Left foot is in front, so we get that beautiful range. And here's your moment to use that upper body strength. Squeeze into the core, squeeze even your kneecaps up into your quads, it is full body.
You have time for two more. Make this one your last one. And up. Well done. You can forward fold over your legs and then maybe that little side stretch if you need it. A little reach up and over, kneeling. Have a little reset, whatever you need. We're placing the box back on, ready for those obliques on the side. So just anchoring your carriage with a couple more springs. You're seated on the box and then your left foot will go underneath that safety strap. Therefore, that right leg swings around. You want your hips square. Right hand to your headrest. Top hand behind the back of the head. Get your length. Take a couple of dips down and up through that supportive headrest. Down. Exhale up. Lifting away the arm that you're supporting yourself with if you'd like to progress. Adding a twist through the chest. Chest up to the sky. Chest down towards the floor. Twist and lower. Remember to fully relax that top leg so your hip is nice and relaxed and lengthened. Remember it's a short set, so work strong here. Take your modifications where you need. You're nearly at the finish line. A couple more. Beautiful, you made it. Take that gorgeous stretch or that twist with both hands onto the silver rails. And take a deep breath. On your exhale, lift yourself all the way back up. Collect your dumbbells. Both feet go underneath your strap now. We'll be moving into a C-curve series. Dumbbells glued in at your chest, elbows are wide, roll back C-curve. From here, we use an exhale, lift up and twist as you punch one dumbbell to the corner of the room. So you roll back C-curve, lift up, punch on a diagonal. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale. Really working through those six pack muscles here. Big strong punch. Hold the next one back. Drop into that C curve and let's punch it out as quick as you can. Go, go, go. Fast punches from the core for three, two, and roll all the way up. Extend your arms out in front of you in your C curve. Little pulses with the chest up, down. Lift up and drop into that C curve. Reaching the arms higher will make this harder. Think about your breastbone leading the movement. Lifting up, dropping into C curve. Good, 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 you're almost there. Keep reaching strong. And last one, let's come into a stretch. Place those dumbbells down, feet closer to the box as you take a seated little twist. Looking over one shoulder. And then let's spin around other side. Sitting tall, take a deep breath in. Using your exhale to help Bring your spine out. Gorgeous. So interlace those hands behind the back. Shine your heart open. Squeeze the shoulder blades. And then taking that stretch out in front of you, rounding through your spine. Gorgeous work, guys. Thank you so much for joining me for this intermediate to advanced reformer workout. 19 minutes. I hope you worked up a sweat. If you liked it, please like, subscribe, and I will see you for our next workout together really soon. I'm Jacinta from Posture Tonic.